Hello and good evening. My name is Marjorie Johnson and I'm the principal at Envision Academy Middle Grades and I'm here hoping to bring you some information about our small little family community. Um, also know that we are accepting seventh and eighth grade transfers. So Envision Academy Middle Grades is a free small college prep middle school dedicated to providing access and opportunity to all students. Um, we are a small school and we pride ourselves in knowing our students, loving them and caring for them, but also making sure we're challenging them and preparing them for success in college. Our school's mission is to make sure that all of our students graduate as lifelong learners who embody um, our graduate profile skills of critical thinking, leadership, criticality, knowledge and love of self and land, collectivism and self-determination. And this is so that they can make sure that they are prepared for post-secondary education and life. We do this by in, in creating, I'm sorry, <laughs> creating an inclusive environment for all members of our community through our core values, which are community, respect, self-discipline, growth and justice. And we support all students, no matter their learning differences, so that they can reach their full potential in pursuit of success, justice, and liberation. And we do this through a curriculum that makes sure that it shows and reflects who they are as people of color, particularly Black, Brown, and Indigenous people. So at our high school, 100% of our African-American students are eligible to apply to a four-year college. And so that is one of the highest rates for Black kids in the whole Oakland School District. We have the third highest ranking in the district for Latinx students. So if you come to EA, you will be prepared for college. So in last October, we asked our students through a survey asking them about their experience. And we scored in the 90th to 99th percentile in our teacher-student relationships. And so um, I wanted to bring some of the things to our attention. Um, in our advisory curriculum, we make sure that we create a safe and welcoming space where all students um, work in like small little groups and they spend time building community and becoming like a small little family within our own little small family. Um, our students are were asked to rate how much they felt like they belonged at our school and they and then they were given a chance to comment. And so one of our students actually said that I belong at this school because this school helps me learn and get through gets me through different things. So we make sure that we're talking to students about their day in and day out troubles and also like personal things if they need extra support. So the classes that we offer is they will have advisory daily, they will have grade level English, math, history, and STEM. Um, so we make sure we do science, technology, and engineering in that class as well as math. Um, and then we have an elective, which is in our advisory lab where they learn about our graduate profile skills um, so that they can make sure they are prepared for high school. We have some classes that are focused in project-based learning. And so this is very important because we really believe in real world projects that mirror their real life to help them gain that experience within the classroom. Students also present at exhibitions where we invite folks from the community in and students talk about the things that they've learned. Um, and some of those are sometimes evaluated by those family members and community members that attend. Our students in eighth grade will prepare a portfolio defense um, and that defense is shared with in front of their advisor and their family members. And it talks about their growth from sixth through eighth grade. Um, and then they sometimes have questions from the panel that they have to answer. And this presentation is about persistence because not everybody passes on their first try. And it's about growing and learning and persisting until they pass. The academic supports that we provide, we make sure every student has a Chromebook. Um, we use data-driven instruction. So we let the work that students are producing and the data that's coming from that inform our instructional practices. Uh, we are standards-based grading. So we use the, um, the standards that the state of California has assigned to us. And we also align that with the SBAC. We make sure that our teachers provide office hours and tier supports during class time. And then we also have learning specialists and counseling services for students who need that. 
Um, in our school activities, we have an extended day program with the People's Conservatory. We have sports like basketball and cheerleading. We have different clubs and electives um, like origami. We have um, graffiti walks and we have um, drill team, like we have different electives based on what the students and teachers are interested in. We also have field trips, spirit weeks, and um, community meetings where we get to honor our Panthers of the Month. Um, here are just some pictures of some of our celebrations, and I see that I'm over time, so I just want to make sure I introduce our enrollment team, which is Mrs. N uh, Ms. Nia Showers, who's our office manager, and then Ms. Quiche, who's our enrollment manager. So if you have any questions or you have any things that you want to know about enrollment, they are definitely the people that you can ask for support. Um, thank you for your time.